And we're live. Hi, everyone. It's Friday. Oh my God. <laughs> Hi, Tom. You're crafty. <laughs> hey, Ran, you're bananas. <laughs> I am because it's, it's Dingbats night. And um, we're the, we're, we're, I'm Tom. I'm the, I'm not Tom. I'm Ran. <laughs> I'm the executive director of the Jack Kirby Museum. And you are. I am Ran. I mean, I am Tom, the president <laughs> and, of the Jack Kirby Museum. And we both have the same t shirts on today. So, um, so we're we're we've been running a series. Well, let's let's let me click the screen here. So, here here we are. This is this is um, tonight is episode two, Dingbats of Danger Street. Why this? Why now? Dude, I don't know. I just came up with this. It just made me laugh. So that's what I did, and <laughs> <laughs> the uh, so that that was the uh, that's our, our our event tonight. We're going to talk about the Dingbats of Danger Street, and there is no one better. To talk to about talk with about the dingbats, <laughs> and that would be Mr. John Morrow, dingbat lover. Hi, John. How's it going, guys? <laughs> it took me, I, I, I saw your tag says Rand is bananas, and, and I didn't immediately catch what you were saying there that you're <laughs> like literally like bananas on dingbats. But I may not be good looks, but when I first started doing the Kirby Collector, I probably was. Somewhat resembling non-fat, at least in my physique. So that, that's <laughs> right. changed. That's it's changed true. a little bit changed in the ensuing thirty right, years. Right, right. So yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so anyhow, we did. We did a, a Tom and I did a, an episode a few uh, on Tuesday a few days ago. It was episode one. We did Atlas Manhunter and Cobra, and the highlight of that was Al Beefer the Hog. That's all. I, <laughs> 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 it's like. <laughs> That Manhunter issue got me an A on my uh, English book report in uh, 10th grade. Wow. I showed up, forgot I had a book report due, and uh, I, I, I thought, what did I, what's the thing I've most recently read? And it was that first issue special of Manhunter. And I, and I cranked it out. I, I, I wrote it there in class before the bell rang. And <laughs> That's it, great. it was great. And it had the, the hog was like the. Yeah, Al Beefer. Yeah, absolutely. He was in there. He was in there. So. But I just kept going on like, it's not Al Porker the hog, and it's not Al Beefer the cow. It's Al Beefer the, I don't know, just cracked me up. How did that guy's brain connect? <laughs> I don't know. Great, I know, I know. <laughs> so we are going live out to Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Twitch. And please say hello. We're we're like here, and we're we're in. You can chat, type things in the comments. They all get aggregated and sent to us, and um, we put them on the screen and we comment on them, and and it can add to the fun. But uh, let's let's. Uh, oh boy, what am I gonna... That's right, it's John Morrow. John, I, I made a little screen for you. So <laughs> that's that's impressive. I like I like the, uh, yeah. the minimalist design of that. It's very nice. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> so let, let let's let's dive into. Ooh. Death Fingers. The first time I saw this, it yeah. blew my... Yeah. I'm like, you're kidding me. Dingbats was supposed to be serious? <laughs> yeah. Right? I know. Like this skinny guy who goes out at night or something and, and, and wreaks vengeance? Is that kind of what it was? Something like that, right? Cleans up inner city. Yeah, cleans up in her city. And right, what was and, his name? His name was something young. Wasn't his name different than um, Good I don't Looks? Think, no, I, I think don't, it was just Death Fingers, wasn't it? It was Death Fingers. Yeah. Oh, it was Death Fingers. So he was Death Fingers, and he was after this guy, the bald guy. He was out after Al Beefer. <laughs> it it yeah. does look like Al Beefer. <laughs> yeah, it does actually. Cool shades. I don't know. Yeah, it was snake meat. I don't know. But um, we got Jack in the Box at the corner. Jack in the Box is there. The dropper, a run amuck type. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> what does he do? Oh, paratroopers. He uses what he learned in paratrooping. Um, the Ice Queen, the Jewel Thief, and excellent. And then the, the guy who, the mobster who runs da uh, Danger Street, Al Capone, the Inner City. Yeah. yeah. But check out the drawing there. Look at look at the guy with the axe about to come down on Death. I know. Right there. So it's great. Just, just yeah. like. You know, another guy jumping yeah. over the wall back there, over the fire escape. It, yeah. It's just yeah. who, who but yeah. Jack knew how to draw that stuff from memory. You know. Yeah. No. I mean, he's living in a in a uh, split level in California when he was drawing this, right? <laughs> yeah, <that's> right. <laughs> he, he captured New York City uh, tenement living very nicely. There. There's a lot of good stuff yeah. like that in these in these comics. That's yeah. for sure. Yeah. And then we have we and then we have the boys. 
So they it's so are, funny. I love this. Yeah. Holding yeah. his under his pants like that. That's great. Yeah. And, and how, how, how did the colorist on first issue special not realize that non-fat was a black guy? I, that that's still <laughs> no. surely that was not an editorial edict. I, I I cannot believe DC would have any reason to at that point. I think it was. Yeah. You think it was an editorial decision? I think they said don't make him black. Yeah, because it would be insulting, or they were being. I that just that's just my take on it. Yeah, they think they. I think they were being like, not caricatures of black people. Yeah, but this this was the era of JJ Jimmy Walker on Good Times, and I mean. That is Jimmy Walker right there. I mean, you know. I know. But, yeah, you know. kind of short one, but yeah. Yeah. So, oh, well, we, yeah. we disagree. I, I can't imagine. Yeah. I have to believe the colors just screwed up. But. So, and, uh, oh, and there's a comment from on Facebook, Graphic Research Station. Oh, well, thank you, Graphic Research Station. Um, <laughs> thank, you, thank you for reading for so many years. It's, it's, it's mind-boggling how many years it's been. We, I've been doing, these guys have been doing this. It's insane. 900 years of the Kirby Collector with John Morrow. <laughs> Six, seven, seven, uh, 20, 27 years? No. Uh, 94. What is that? Yeah, 2001, 20, uh, yeah. 20, yeah. 27. Yeah. Yeah. Man. And Oof. right now it feels like all 27 because I'm still trying to get this. <laughs> Crazy fourth world book done. Oh boy, which, which is which I'm making. I'm almost getting there, almost there. So, but uh, oh, yeah, right now my brain it. tried. So, uh, <laughs> this is a nice diversion to I'll focus yeah. on the big bands right. of the industry. So, <laughs> all right. So here we have our for our cover for first issue special number <laughs> six. Like you know, just just like why didn't they just call it showcase? They hadn't had showcase in a while. I don't know. Like it's just so confusing. Because um, Carmine, Carmine Infantino thought if it said first issue, everyone's a first issue and it'll always sell better. Yeah, exactly right. Which, which isn't bad reasoning, I guess, but yeah. I caught on pretty quickly. Yeah. I mean, no, I, I know you guys did. Yeah. That's Bob. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. <laughs> Bob's been with us. Yeah, he has. I, I know that name. He, he's been with us forever. Yeah, so. Bob's Bob's been been with us on, on the live streams, too. It's been great. Uh, yeah. um, so Peter let's Barry, have D. Bruce Berry inked this, oh. whereas Royer inked the inside. So I, I would so, assume this cover was done about the time the third issue was being inked. Wouldn't you guys oh, wow. figure that? Yeah, I was going to ask you about that because Mike came back. So at this point, Mike was still hiking in the mountains or something, <laughs> right? So, so this must have been about the same time as our fighting forces, like one, like near the before the end of like. 157, 158 was Steve Bruce Berry. So it must have been around that time. Yeah, probably so. It, and these were drawn so much, so so many months before they were actually published. They just right. sat on right. a shelf, apparently. So yeah. I don't think, I, don't, I think when they did it, they weren't like, first issue special wasn't a thing yet, right? Yeah. It was right. like, Jack, you got to finish your quote on your contract. So uh, here, come up with some stuff and right. we'll put it on the <laughs> shelf and maybe publish it. So, right, right. So then we have the cover, this cover where we have um, what we call the mega side by side, where we get to look at <laughs> look at all, all all three you know items here. You guys have done such a great job of like making it so we fans can see the see the the, the process. Oh. I love how you do it. You guys you guys did one thing with the uh, where one fades to another, which is really yes. that's oh, yeah. mind blowing. I would sit there. and and tick back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, <laughs> yeah. before, after, before, after. I love that. Watching the little things sweep up and down. It was awesome. Yeah, yeah. You can see it come alive almost. Mm -hmm. or get, yeah. And, you know, and the, the, the thing about this one, again, I'm just going to bring this back, is is with, with non-fat, is they you know, they changed his nose and his lips. I don't know whether these Well, now are, that's man. true. Okay, you got me there. All right. You and got me there. There's another one coming up, too. So they, I think they were... They're really trying to make him not a black kid. Okay. Uh, at, in I, the I, office. I, I can admit when I'm wrong. <laughs> All right. So then we have the beginning. Here they are, the lovable dum dums. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of, that's funny, right? <laughs> Look no at matter, these guys. <laughs> no matter what happens, I'm hanging on to this hot dog. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's, that's some of Kirby's and, finest dialogue, right? And there. that is true. <laughs> it's a plot element. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But, uh, I found that the first issue, this first issue, was so much 
more fun or funny than yeah. theater yeah, the oh, later yeah. two. They get more yeah. serious. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but this was like like a comedy. It's 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 typical humor stuff. It's great. So is is bananas? Uh, is he Asian though? Because there he looks like he is. It's almost like a character of an Asian person. He does. But in other spots, like like because he he has the same. There's that picture, old picture of Mike Royer from the '60s. <laughs> and when you look at him, it's like okay, because the same glasses, the same hair. Mike, <clears throat> Mike didn't look Asian though. But um, um, I think I believe. I have I have heard Mike say that he is uh, bananas. Is he okay? Yeah. So that Jack that Jack drew bananas to be Mike Royer. So that was a surprise. I didn't expect that because I thought he was going to be an Asian kid too. But you know, but that but that adds a whole different level to it. It's like this really is a a, a, a mixed race group here, right? Right. I mean, oh, you know, no, I know. Yeah. You got an African American kid, an Asian American kid, yep. and you got Crunch. I'm not sure where Crunch comes from with that red hair. Um, <laughs> I'm thinking that <laughs> maybe that was a color's decision too, right? <laughs> yeah. uh, but I'm assuming Good Looks was supposed to be like maybe a you know like a uh, like a like a Puerto Rican kid or something. Yeah. Um, I don't know. And then Crunch is I don't oh. know either. But it, I I get the sense that Jack was trying to really intersperse. Uh, nationality is the yeah. kind of the way you would have growing up there, right? And like he right. did growing up as well. So. Yep, yep. And and um, there's also well, let's, oh wait, then we have this, right? Which uh, oh man, a crime uh, isn't that a crime? Yeah, right terrible. There. So Can't they they are like decided that they were going to do a big a big paste up and and shrink the page, right? Shrink shrink the spread. And we draw to, parts of it. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, if you look at it, they did a pretty good job of turning a two-page into one. I didn't um, even know it, right? Until yeah. you saw the original art, it was like, yeah, that's a weird-looking thing. But well, I, I remember seeing it as a, as a teenager. And I remember going like, something's not quite right here. And I think it's because stuff got reduced down in the shrinking, yeah. and the line weights looked like they weren't quite consistent throughout the whole thing, or something. I don't know, but I, I was that one seemed a little off to me. But I, I, I never imagined that's what happened. But man, look at Royer's inks on there. Ooh, great. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful man. spread. And and yeah. and the you know, I just love the the fact that it is indeed the next moment after the f splash page. They're mm -hmm. in front of the they're in front of the wall. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. like <laughs> it's like right there. It's like in in action kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. and, and um and then just to take a look at this. Now, years ago, somebody did that. Um Derek, mm. Eric Langille did this. Um, wow. Yeah. yeah. And so I thought that was really, really nice. So that yeah. is slick. Isn't that nice? Yeah. And he, you know, he did it with all the dots and everything. So yeah. It's, it's, it was a pretty good one. I figured I'd showcase that, you know, just because I remember. Yeah. Like I said, I think I, he did this before I'd even seen the original art. So somehow he, he must have gotten a scan of it before even I had seen it. So. All right, so that we have Jumpin' Jack here, right? And he's been caught in Crunch's exercise band. Yes. <laughs> right. So yep. he gets it's pulled, snapped back. He gets snapped back. And I guess the oh, and then the you know, we have our cop, Terry Mullins, right? Who's he's uh gonna take him in. And that's the first time that they they, they interact meet. with the dingbats interact with him and he becomes right. part of the the other issues yeah yeah e player and then what happens is <laughs> <laughs> there's something in in non fat's throat because <laughs> he he held on to that hot dog so hard that he and then he took a bite out of it and little did he, did he know that um you know, he gets swacked by Crunch and gets flies so many feet away. And there's a little canister of microfilm in there. Just really fun slapstick stuff from Jack, which is which is always nice to see. And then what? And he always oh. just he always kicks somebody. Oh yeah, he's a kicker. Yeah, he's a right. kicker, but that doesn't do anything because he's he's skinny and he doesn't so have any weight behind his kick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh geez, yeah. And then there's the gasser. He shows up. So yeah, 
just just a cool cool character cool drawing and that is jump oh wait hello <laughs> so this is the, uh, the the pencil photocopy and that is the original art uh, that's really nice but I mean that's that's a beautiful example of of Royer it's yeah. like yeah he, he, he's he immaculately follows Kirby's pencils but it's not it doesn't look like tracing it, it's got such a it's got such a, a weight to it and, and such a just a beautiful smooth quality yeah, uh, yeah. you know if you if you ever look at like joe sennett's inks right yeah it, it's almost like it's rubber stamped it's so precise and perfect and royer's just seems a little more smooth and fluid to me maybe maybe because he did so much more brush and joe used right. that pen yes. sometimes but yeah um just gosh i just love Royer's work it's just so gorgeous yeah and plus his titling is always different oh yeah and lettering lettering yeah that, I mean, the gasser that, that that lettering from a graphic design point of view it's he does some incredible lettering and I don't and he also, I mean, it was his decision to make that rectangle as well. Like Jack, Jack just. Oh, right. Yeah. Page, yeah. You know? And I, 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 no, I noticed it on some of the earlier pages. There were some of those um, thicker panel border stuff and, you know, all those fun things that, that Mike would do. Um, well, then we go. All right. So the gasser is hitting them up and there's, he gets kicked. He gets kicked again. <laughs> Kicks <laughs> we're not, we're not bad. <laughs> And then Crunch is going to pile, oh boy. Yeah, so. Oh, yeah. So I have a question. So Jumping Jack Flash, and then they also say Stones. Is it related to the Rolling Stones? Because the song Jumping Jack Flash? I, it's got to be rolled based on the yeah. song. Yeah, Jumping because Jack Flash has got to be. I don't think it came from anywhere else other than the Rolling yeah, Stones. Yeah, I'm wondering because he, they also mentioned the Rolling Stones. He, he mentions oh, it they in do. the dialogue. Yeah. Oh, okay. But Jack, Jack called him Jack in the Box on that Death Fingers page, right? Oh, you're right. Did I did I call him the wrong name? No, no, no. But is, oh. is he any? I should have reread this before, right before this, but <laughs> he, he is yeah. jumping Jack in here, right? Yeah. Yes, he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. jumping Jack. But he was Jack in the Box on the Death Fingers page, I think. Yes, yeah. right. You're correct that um, he was. Which maybe that's maybe Jack had the stones on when he was drawing yeah, the story. That's and, right. Yeah. Or maybe he just forgot. <laughs> or, or he had one of those delicious hamburgers from Jack in the Box and thought twice about calling that's it. That's true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. He fired the gun. Where's Gasser? Oh boy, Gasser took off in a camper truck. Like we didn't get to, we don't get to see that. He just suddenly he's he's gone. And non-fat is on top of the camper. And bananas and are rolling around on a season. Oh. So uh yeah. It's crazy. Why? Why is? Why is Nonfat going out after him? He's just wants revenge. He wants revenge. I thought because. Well, they took the he took the little microfilm. He has he right. has the microfilm. Okay, so he yeah. just wants to get it back from him. Okay. Yeah. All over jumping Jack. All right. Crazy, hilarious costume with that mustache and the. <laughs> <laughs> a good look for as the canister, actually. <laughs> yeah, Jack never Kirby. Jack Kirby never explained exactly what Jumpin' Jack's motivation is for wearing that suit, right? I mean, I don't recall. It was kind of like you just kind of uh, suspend disbelief. Okay, yeah, yeah he, he's just jumping around, suit. jumping around the slum in this red suit and uh, stealing <laughs> microfilm. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, for uh, Gasser. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so then they retrieved it, so they bring it back, and then Jack is on the move. He's like a human grasshopper. Just some great, you know, classic Jack action. There. Yeah. Tilted room. Yeah. And on the other yeah. angle as well. And then pencil photocopy. Original art. We have the scan. All we have uh, 
all of the original art scanned for this issue. Yep. Which is nice. Yeah. Oh, it looks so cool. All right, so then what? It's just it's time to get the gasser. We 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 may act and dress like comic book characters, but we're trained to yeah. back up any move we make. <laughs> okay, Jack. So there's a little meta there. It's like these guys are talking about how they're like comic book characters when they're actually comic book characters. Cosplay, cosplay yeah. villains. Mm -hmm. Is that... <laughs> And somehow these police people are just basically you know, they can jump just like jumping jack. True. Not some great great ghetto buildings there too, Jack. Yeah. Jack, great jack backgrounds. And the cops go on with the mom. And then there's a it's chapter three firefight. All right, so he's calling them out. And there's all kinds of shooting. Terry gets hit in the arm. <laughs> he's getting in I there. Guess, I, you, I can you can escape. fry me like chicken, Gasser, but I'm coming for you. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. Thank you. <laughs> that should put out your gas jet. <laughs> uh oh, don't do it. Save the quotes for your trial. All right. And then of course at the end they find they find nonfat and he's frozen in the camper. Right. <laughs> and there's and there's Crunch the board. picking him up. <laughs> like he's, he starts twitching. Yeah. <laughs> because the gaster sprayed him with some type of like antifreeze or something. Right. And so and also like, the executive who's in there as well. This executive yeah. who was kidnapped for some reason. Oh, uh, the because uh, of the industrial secrets. Yeah. Oh right, yeah. That had, and he had the the canister, the microphone. Yeah. So then we have you know make it non-fat, ride him cowboy, and then he says, "Did I hear someone call me boy?" And that's uh, that's a little bit of a mm -hmm. Jack probably making him a black kid. <laughs> um, and yeah, and then they kind of like, yeah, we don't need you, you adults. Go away. We don't like adults. So hey, and he tries to kick them again. <laughs> what something just dawned on me? What year did uh, Fat Albert and the Cosby Kids debut? Oh, well, let me get my phone. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting here looking at, at uh, Nonfat, and he's got that you know the ski cap kind of down over his eyes. Yep, and, right. and there was what was it? Weird Harold was that the the, yeah. the character from Cosby Kids? It started uh, in seventy two. Seventy two. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Because here's here's wow. the thing that always got me on on Dingbats. First of all, I don't understand why people dismiss this because you look at this story. Jack was having a ball doing this. Yeah. He may have plotted this in in like eleven minutes tops and then you know as he's going through he's just cranking out the dialogue having a ball doing it he's not yeah. putting a ton of thought on this he's just having fun he is and 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 but the art shows how much fun he was having too he, he was just blowing through here making some amazing visuals as he went through mm -hmm. so um but but what got me on this was you know growing up watching welcome back cotter it's like oh the four dudes from Welcome Back, Cotter. That's the dingbats, right? Because you yep. got, you know, good looks is John yep. Travolta, right? Vinny Barbarino, yep. and yep. Uh, non-fat is Freddie Boom Boom Washington, yep. and Crunch is the big tough guy Juan Epstein, and yep. then of course uh, Bananas is Arnold Horshack. I thought it's a perfect, <laughs> <match>. perfect <laughs> match. No, right. There you go. And then I go look up the dates, and well, dingbats came first, Otherwise. and it's like, oh, but surely, and then you know, you compare the dates. There's no way that dingbats influenced Welcome Back, Cotter. It was too too soon before they they would not have made that right. connection. Mm -hmm. I think. Your article, you you talk in 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 the book, you talk a little bit about yeah. maybe Gabe Kaplan's stand up routines may have had something to do with it, or yeah, yeah, Kaplan's right. stand up routine may have influenced Jack, but I don't right. think Jack's dingbats influenced the Welcome Back Cotter no. show. No, although right. Mark Evanier worked on the Welcome Back Cotter show, but not until like with the second or third season or something. Yes. Right. So he wasn't involved in creation. So it's like, it's just one of these weird things. I, I, is this, is this 
four stereotypical characters, is that a common theme? I mean, I can't really think of another instance where there mm-hmm. was like a, I mean, Little Rascals yeah. doesn't match. Right. Yeah. Right. So it's just kind of a, one of those weird coincidences that you've got very similar yeah. stereotypes yeah. for these characters between mm-hmm. the show and, and the comic. But um, yeah, I thought I was really onto something with that Welcome Back Cotter thing when it dawned on me one day. And then it's like, yeah. oh yeah, no, not so no. much. But, oh, well. But here's here's the weird thing. So here's the pencil photocopy, right? And we've got over here, we've got, did I hear someone call me boy, right? And just look at look at his face. Then on the original oh part, they changed Ooh. the dialogue and they changed his face. Oh gosh. Look at and the fourth panel. Look, look at the at fourth the panel. He's totally changed. But they didn't print that. <laughs> so I was going to say, I didn't I'm remember. Confused. <laughs> That's strange. Isn't that really odd? I, um, I, I just, I don't. Wow. It, uh, a mis- another mystery of the Jing Bats. <laughs> huh. Yeah. It, 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 um, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know where to go with that. Somehow they, they changed it, but then decided it. It wasn't they must have made a stat before they changed it in order to print it. So right, yeah. But what gets me? They had Jack do three issues of Dingbats. Yeah. But as far as we know, only one of Atlas, only one of Manhunter. Which mm-hmm. you would think those would be like that. Hey, let's have Jack spend his time on is it, on like a four or, or right a kid gang group. Was that really expected to be a big hit in 1975? I mean. I don't know. I wouldn't have thought so, but no, maybe although maybe you know, maybe good times in Welcome Back, Cotter or whatever made them yeah. think, oh well, let's. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but did Jack well, draw issue three right after he did issue two? Um, I'd have to look that up and see, because the art on three doesn't look quite as fluid. One right. and two seem, although maybe I'm influenced by Roger Zinkin, but the the pencils, as I recall them, the the pencils look very fluid on one and two and then three looks a little stiffer as if mm. it was done later but um but three was wasn't it inked by d bruce berry which is was. interesting because it, was. it went back from briar to d bruce berry so, yeah well, Rory did one and two and then barry did three um but barry okay. inked the cover of first issue special right which i assume was done much after the fact mm-hmm. so but, yeah i think so yeah that's freaky i had no idea that this the original art was doctored up like that. Wow. Yeah, that was mm. <laughs> it's really odd. Really odd. Um, all right. Uh, what does it say? You'll learn how the dingbats were formed. Each boy has his tragic story. Next. Mm-hmm. So then he go. Then I assume Honestly. the plan was to go through every single one of them, and they went sure. through the first two. Sure. Yeah. And then after they're done, the submariner will show up. But that's that's another. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, look at oh, that. Look at this. It's Eisner <laughs> nominated Thing That Love, right? I love that book. I, yeah. I'm so happy to finally get these things in print. Yeah. And I had yeah. so much fun working on the book. It was a ton of work, but it was a lot of fun. Yeah. And, and finding a way, just trying to figure out how to make the fold outs work such yeah. that, and they're not perfect in the way they flow, but it was the best solution I could come up with. So you could actually see, like we were talking about, the pencils and the inks and the colors yeah. and read the thing straight through. I think it works pretty well. And, um, hey, yeah, you guys were such a huge help on trying to track down this stuff. Um, yeah. I mean, it, it's you guys are invaluable. I, I, I'm so glad you guys exist. And I hope everybody listening right now keeps supporting you guys because it, it's just you guys are invaluable. Oh, thanks, John. Thank you. And, and there's the museum's uh, edition. Which, Which is we exactly a blue. It's blue and it has different art. So, and I've had I've had a couple of people really angry when they found out that they're like, "What's with this blue one? And I, why aren't you selling that?" And it's like, "Well, that's the museum's." Like, well, why didn't you publicize that? It's like we would have not bought yours and bought theirs. And I'm like, well, <laughs> yeah. "You know, hey, sorry. Now you can buy both. You so, buy both. That's right." <laughs> Brandon, if there's ever a uh, 
Oh, thank you, Bob. If there's ever a uh, another comic convention someday, get, yeah. get you guys to sign it for them. So. <laughs> that's, that's like, you know, we're we're like, oh, look at those boxes. Well, they'd all be empty. Not the, all of them, but a lot of them would be emptied out if there were comic book conventions. So. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. well. <laughs> um, Later this year, hopefully. Let's 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 take a look at at, at issue two. What's up, baby? Snake. What's snake. happening? Yeah, what is yeah, happening? What's happening, baby? Hold it, crunch. Yeah, so they're in, they're in front of the they're in front of the wooden fence again. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like everything happens in front of the wooden fence. I got I got to hang out in front of this fence. I tell you. All right. Up oh, and then there we go. Fantastic. I'm I'm surprised this isn't a, isn't more dynamic somehow. Like there isn't like a big head in the corner with some <laughs> something, you know, like like when Jack always, you always does. pick that out, don't you? you like that, right? <laughs> it's really great. It's really well, great. this one, the only uh, source we had for art on this was some very streaky, not great quality Xeroxes. Yeah, and you guys saw what we had, and um, and Tom Zuko had to go through and like clean it up and he did a remarkably good job especially based on what he had to work with before he yeah. colored it yeah. Yeah. Uh, to fill in the line work and make it you know uh, so I, I think if we'd have had you know Royer's original art to scan from it would probably pop a little bit more but yep. um i yep. think a little bit got lost in that but but still you know yeah. it's great we have some record of it and somebody out there owns the original art to this yeah. yes so do. hopefully hopefully they'll send you guys a scan one day that would be nice. a lot of it actually ended up in france i don't uh -huh. know if you know that but uh uh, yeah, we'll well, talk about I that a little bit. I want, to, I want to talk about that when we get through all both all three issues. Oh, okay. So, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, right. So they, yeah, there's some they, somebody's been murdered, right? Yeah. I love the way Kirby. Good. I love the way Kirby drew guns. It's like <laughs> completely. They're, <unrealistic. laughs> they're they're unrealistic, but they're totally believable, right? <laughs> you know and. Yeah, like, they're, what are all like, those controls and dials do? <laughs> yeah, really. Who knows, right? They do something. Jack probably had some reason for them. So, he did. <laughs> so uh, good looks picks up the gun, and he he know he knows that gun, and he's off. And that's it. He ends snake up snake meat. Snake, snake meat. Don't move. I'm gonna go boom in your skull. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is a, such a why. Why is it such a dramatic departure too? The first issue was kind of all for laughs. I mean, there's a couple yeah. of dramatic scenes where yeah. you know Terry Mullins runs in and is getting burned and stuff. But I mean, it was pretty much pretty light. And then yeah. all of a sudden, issue two. This is like dead serious from start to finish. You got you got you know bananas making a few jokes here and there. But I mean, he's ready to blow this guy's head off because yeah. <laughs> he killed his parents. So yep. Yeah. Yep. And if Terry hadn't been there, it probably would have happened. But, mm -hmm. yeah. Shut up, Terry. Stop talking sense. All right. So now get out of here. And all right. And when I first read this, I thought I thought that the lieutenant was like in cahoots with um, with snake meat until I read a little further. But at first, you don't understand that he, he just happens to appear. You don't, it looks like he was there already, just waiting and protecting snake meat for some reason. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they're back great in there. Coloring, by the way, he did an awesome job at coloring. Yeah, did a great job. So they're back in there in their place, their, their outcast place to live. And Good looks. Goes back to flashback time. <laughs> and we, we see we see this horrible story of uh, it's all in red and yellow and orange. It's great. Nice. Yeah, Tom Tom Zuko that colored this for us. He, he was very adamant that I want to color this the way I would have colored it in 1976, 75, <laughs> and. Um, and, and so I'm like, hey, that's perfect. That's what we want. And uh, yeah, I, I particularly thought he really did a home run with this. Yeah. And then that, that contrast with the blue part of it afterwards, like sad and, you know, it's, it's great. Mm -hmm. And then he, he heads out. His mind is alive with memories. 
Um, yeah, because he was thrown out the window and ended up in the hospital. And this is after he was in the hospital. Yeah. He had no home. His parents are gone, just wandering the streets looking for snake meat. This page, that panel design. <laughs> okay. Sorry. I, I get why he, I get why Jack did it, but that was so uncharacteristic of him at, at, at this point in career. He was yeah. he was a straight grid square panels and yeah. throw that in there. And and when I saw that, I'm like, that reminded me of you know very late in his career when he was doing it in Hunger Dogs. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. which was very strange because I had not seen him do that for forever anyway. Um so, so I mean, you know, this is almost a little bit like some of the weird panel designs he did back in the '40s. Um, yeah. You know, it, it, the geometric shapes are just kind of it, it, it's really impactful here. I think. All right, Charles, fantastic! He just ordered he he ordered his dingbat love. Yeah, but did he order the blue one from you guys or the red I think one? From he ordered, us? Uh, I don't think ours is available on the, on our website. Oh, is it really? Oh, okay. So we put, Charles Charles is a great artist. Um, I just remember this this page being particularly ugly as well. I don't know if we, our friends, the original, can, yeah, yeah. The, 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 what what you guys, what we, you know, the only the best ver. This might be the best version that you guys had to work with. Yeah, and you know? Tom had to do a lot of cleanup on this one yeah. as well. There, there's yeah. three or four pages, and you can kind of tell yeah. the line works just not quite as sharp, but it, it's still it's there. So more more flashback. It was the the up oh, the yeah the woman with the bird, mm -hmm. yeah, <clears throat> uh, yeah, and that's it. Oh man, <laughs> I caught up with him, but I couldn't kill him. All right, I still think he needs a good laugh. Well, you would bananas. Hey, <laughs> so now he's a jerk in the box. Okay. <laughs> mm. Yeah, but he was breathing hard, and he was in a sweat, in a panic. Yeah. He felt, and we find out later on why he was, because then you see the bird, actually. That's right. And it prevented him from killing killing her. Yeah, That's that cool. Page original art. Yeah. Nice. Did we ever look at the X numbers and see how they compare with the other X numbers, like from our fighting forces or or any of the later books, and to figure out when they were. Produced. I did not. I did not do that to prepare for the show. Keep going. I'll do it. You guys, I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. He's he's on the move. <laughs> All right. So, oh, Terry. Terry hits uh, bananas in the head with a ball. And yeah, he's he, good looks is still pretty upset. Then the lieutenant comes in. All right. They're ready to bat him. I mean, he, they're not ready to bat him, but he makes the point yeah. that they're going to go after all of the, all right. the game. Right. So. Oh, it's another page of original art. Fantastic. That's nice. Yeah. I believe it's one really of them nice. did come from France, by the way. More than one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The next issue, at least one or two. The one with the hand came from France as well, originally. Right. We had um, a, a great um, oh. a great collector in France donated that um, those images, some of the images to the museum. Oh, man. What did I do? Okay. There we go. Well, that wasn't perfect. I had a little boo-boo. But yeah. <laughs> so he confronts. So good looks as the bird and snake meat. We we this is where we learn that snake meat does not like birds. Yeah, he doesn't like birds. And birds yeah. don't like him either. I'd oh say. well, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> so it's mutual. So yeah, so that he has a fear of birds and he that's how he confesses if I'll otherwise I'll leave you alone in the room with this bird. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, please I'll talk, Mullen. Yikes. So I don't know why I ended up going backwards on this, but that's it. Everything's resolved. Um, Crunch is lifting up a cop in a chair. All right, what do you got? Oh, he's, he's back. Okay, I'm back. What's, what's the word? 
Uh, I have, uh, and so hold that page too. Um, I got, okay, number one was done around the time of, according to the X numbers, it was done around the time of OMAC number two and Commandy number 15. I think Royer okay. was, was Royer still inking on 15? He was. 16, okay. he half did. Yeah, and um, and so those were like March 1974 cover dates, so Jack was probably drawing them six months prior to that, so mm -hmm. around October 73, somewhere in there. Um, that's roughly about the time he would have done this. the first issue. The second one was literally a month later, oh, and okay. then the third issue was then two more months after that. So there was a little gap between, uh, there was a month, an extra month between when he drew issue two and issue three, oh, so... Okay. Right. Um, based on the X numbers and that, that's probably pretty reliable. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, so that's probably about the time Royer decided I'm done. He left commanding and turned it over to Debris Berry and right. went up to hike in the mountains for a yeah, while. So, um, this last page, I own the original art for this page. This is one of only like three Kirby pages I own and, mm -hmm. um, got, I, and I just love this page. Uh, and this is my one regret of the Dingbat Love book. The way that parrot is colored, that, that gray, doesn't work in panel four where no. it's on his confused. Closet. It confused me. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only thing. So Tom Zuko, if you're listening, buddy, you did a 99.9% stellar <laughs> job on this, but man, I wish we'd have fixed that, but Oh, well, we, we, we live and learn. So. And there's, I guess your original art then. Yep. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. So snake meat didn't like Boyd's. Okay. <laughs> There's a plot for you. I mean, uh, you know, <laughs> it, it works. It works. Yeah, it works. All right. It all ties so, together. So, so then I, now I have this this thing that like there were like there's something going on with birds for Jack in early 1973. Because <laughs> yeah, now we have another bird. We have Uncle Birdly. Um, it's it's the story of Crunch. And it's uh, terror it's, uh, comes to inner city. Yeah, birdly mud. Yeah. Birdly yeah. mud. And this was uh, yeah, that's a pretty, that's a crazy, crazy spread. Yeah. That's another one that we only had real streaky Xeroxes of, and, and couldn't track down the original art on it. So, and Tom Zuko had to spend hours cleaning that up, and did just an amazing job. And now it looks like you guys found the original art. <laughs> wow! See, you know, stuff comes in after you after you've done publishing and did all that hard work. So, <laughs> um, right. So this guy is is the show, is Bur Uncle Birdley's chauffeur, right? Crummer, yes. right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Crummer, Crummer, right? Yeah, and oh, well, there's all kinds of trouble in the street. But they take. Yeah, Uncle Birdley is very um, aristocratic and doesn't like people talking to him in any way. Oh yeah, he's a, he's a with a uh, very rich dude and you know won't calls everybody rats and scum in the street. Hey dingbats, those dudes have put the snatch on Crunch. Crash. <laughs> And oh boy, so <laughs> bananas is jumping on an awning. There's still a big street fight going on, like it's like a street code spread. <laughs> <laughs> and then Terry shows up. But on, on uh, page seven, there. Look at panel four. Yeah. Look at that leg in the in the foreground going way back high in the sky. I mean, and Jack could put. He was so good with kind of visual pantomime, and, yeah. <laughs> and you know his his style really lends itself to this this crazy screwball comedy kind of stuff here. I think it's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> really does. Oh man, I don't know. I ended up doing things backwards. Uh... And that's a great <laughs> gag with uh, bananas in the awning. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And then in the panel right after, he falls down on his face. Yep. yep. Right. <laughs> yeah. Humor, comedy. And then they, the, the cops drive off, and they're like in a smoke of exhaust talking. <laughs> mm -hmm. what, 
What kind of goody relative tells his driver to grab crunch like this and this? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Pull up the, the pull up to the to the. Man. This mansion picture reminded me of the Mister Miracle. I think it's number fifteen, um, where they show this huge mansion where. Um, what is his name? Uh, the one I that's just like... Yeah, I know the one you're talking about. It reminds me of the one... There was that unused Fantastic Four, Frightful Four story page that I think uh, Jim Shooter inked as a tryout. Mm. Um, if you remember the one where they're coming to... I don't know. The, I forget what the story was, but there's a mansion very similar to this. as what kind of Victorian looking like this. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Up. Oh. And we have a photocopy. Cool. Just and I mean, Jack wasn't using a ruler to draw this architecture either, and no. to get the perspective <laughs> right and stuff. I mean, he was just eyeballing the stuff. Eyeballing it the whole time, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What if he used any reference kind of photos? Because we find that he he did do some of that, especially for the yeah. war stuff. And it's like okay. I love the fourth panel with his mouth open. <laughs> <laughs> Do your duty. Only take him down to the basement where he had been before. Yes. And then this next page. <laughs> Talk Rat. about child abuse. Rat. Man, it's just really depressing. Yeah, sure is. And the whole. Giant spot. The hole is filled with rats. Yeah. And there he's just up there eating. He's got like, you know, three two different manservants other than Crum Crummer. And you know, whatever. It's, oh, oh, did I hear a sound? <laughs> <laughs> but but panel five on that one of him chewing, even, you know, that's that's uh <laughs> You're so catching, cartooning. It's great. Jack's got him in mid action, right? Yeah. Nothing, yeah, yeah. nothing sits still oh. in a Kirby panel. Everything's no. in motion. No, that's right. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Well. Hmm. Really nice. The hand. And there's a good example. Hey, Greg. Look at the lettering for the title, the hand. Yeah. 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 And, and that's that's nicely done, but it you is. can you can tell. Not Mike. <laughs> it, 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 yeah, it's not Mike Royer, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty nice. Another another great job by Tom too. Oh man! And there's some mechanical arm. What's this mechanical arm all about? I'm confused. Just there to scare him. Ah. It's their torture device. To keep yeah, it's in a line. torture device. It's almost like you think of the Forever People issue three when they're like torturing everyone. It's just yeah. like torture, the sad kind of thing. And here he comes, and boom! Oh, yeah. We're kicking, beating. Yeah, that last panel on seventeen. Now you take it, right? Yeah. That's uh, what, from Street Code. There was a panel uh, where Jack. Is punching as a Jack as a kid is punching some. What, what, what was the the dialogue oh, he used yeah. in that? Oh, um, go, something go, something go. like see how you like it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's me. Yeah. It, something along those lines, and right. that reminds me of that. Right. Yeah. I'm not the same frightened dude who ran away. Yeah. Ah. Zop. <laughs> Zop. <laughs> <laughs> and Mullen shows up. Fantastic. And that's kind of like a yeah. Uh, I'm going to point is, you in. Point is, his pipe at Birdly Mud in that last panel too. It's mm -hmm. like little touches like that. I mean. Who would think to do that, right? Yeah, Anyone yeah. else would have had a finger pointing at him, right? Like, right. And uh... well, because he had experience with a pipe too, so he probably did it himself in, in the past. Yeah, right. <laughs> and there you go. 
He's finally sleeping at night. He doesn't have to leave the light on anymore. Right. He's happy because yeah. he resolved his whole nightmare past. And look what's coming next. The banana, the banana store. Oh. Where is it? Kill on sight. Kill okay. on sight. <laughs> now, how do you make bananas into a story his origin into a story called kill on sight. You know, there, there Jack must, he probably had some little minuscule idea in his head. Like, Oh, I know what I'll do with that. Yeah. He didn't have it all fleshed out, but he, he, to come up with that title, I'm thinking he must've had something in mind. Right? Yeah. yeah. Now, where is Dingbats four? Oh. And let's see who, do, whose story did we not also get? We didn't get non fat story. Right. That would have been Dingbats five. Yeah. Where are those? Did they get done? Because our, our buddy, Greg Theakston told me very early on when I was doing the Kirby Collector uh -huh. that, that he, that uh, Dingbats 4 and 5 existed. And he was offered the art for it by uh, someone who uh, someone who bought it. Let's see, what was the story? Somehow Vince Coletta had it. And he was offered the art. And, uh, and it ended up getting sold in, in Europe somewhere. Oh. And I, and I don't, I, I, I've held out a lot of hope for that over the years, but I, I've seen no evidence whatsoever, not right. a single Xerox nope. of the pencils or anything to make me think those stories actually exist. Right. So, um, but boy, if the Bananas origin story showed up one day, Woo. if somebody out there is listening and is sitting on that, just send me please one panel, just anonymously send me one panel from it so I can know that it exists and I can try a happy man. Because <laughs> <Yes>. um, <laughs> I would really like to know what Banana's origin was. Me so. too. <laughs> anyway. I don't know. I get the feeling that it's somehow in France if it's there. Because that's where yeah, yeah. that's where they ended up. Yeah. It wasn't Europe. It was most likely France. Because everything that we've gotten given to us was bought indirectly, like second bought in France. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. So yeah, I'm just wondering if it's sitting in somebody's, you know, <laughs> vault in France for since then. Because so, back then nobody was making, you know, probably what year would it, would that have been? Like, it was Vince Coletta? Oh, I mean, was like, yeah, it would have been 76 to 77 at the latest, because that's when, what, the DC, um, the Cancel Comic Cavalcade, all the stuff got canceled, and there was all that art sitting there, and they basically, so I think they sent it all back to the artist, right? Yeah. Or they they did something with it before they after they made Xeroxes for Cancel Comic Cavalcade. Dingbats wasn't there. A lot of people think these Dingbats two and three stories were in Cancel Comic Cavalcade. They weren't. No. Um, mm. So you got to figure that art disappeared from the DC offices before the DC implosion happened and all that. So that makes sense. Um, yeah. So and there was even at that point there was a decent market for Kirby's art. Um, yeah. Probably not not that heavily for dingbats. That's probably why it ended up getting sold in Europe. Right. Um, U.S. people probably kind of oh well, it's just you know yeah, it's mm -hmm. just a kid gang. A um, weird thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Well, it's true. If it's if it's out there, <laughs> take a picture of it with your phone and do something with it. You know, <laughs> yeah, just let the world know it exists. Yeah, really, really, really nice if it, if. if that would change. That would learn something yeah. about that. And while we're on that subject, the Dingbat Love Book, there's a couple of pages of one of the uh, soul love stories. That's right. That we could never we could never find. So we had to run one story incomplete in this book. Um, so anybody, and I, I know those pages exist. Somebody's got them. So hey, if you got them, send them to send them to the museum, right? So yeah. they can you know you preserve these things for posterity because. You know, it, 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 it doesn't do you any good. doesn't do anyone any good sitting in your closet, right? Right. You guys need to document this stuff. Just scan it and, and keep it on record. So, yeah. Um, and maybe one day now, with HBO Max is coming out. Maybe DC will do a Dingbats, uh, you know, streaming show or something like that. <laughs> That's right. Uh, <laughs> uh, maybe even True Life Divorce, but I don't know about Solo. That might be, oh, that might be kind of funny. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. get the right right people working on it and um, make make it not offensive. That would be that would be cool. Seventies, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think I think we've 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 come to the end. 
So that was episode two. Why this? Why now? <laughs> First issue. What? <laughs> <laughs> like I'm confused. It's just all about being confused for Rand. But um, and uh, tomorrow night, join me and Tom and Lisa Hoppy and Lois Delivio, and we're going to just have a, some trivia questions, and we're going to look at Young Romance number one and uh, auction off some stuff. Share some, maybe look at some Black Panther stuff. Um, and uh, so join us for that. It should be fun. That's why we call it Fun Night, because I can't be creative enough to come up with anything else to call it. <laughs> <laughs> it works. It's fine. It works. It's fine. It's Fun Night. And, uh, and then on Monday, now this is going to be something special. We'll, we're we're going to go through <laughs> these guys. Justice yeah. Incorporated and Richard Dragon Kung Fu. You know, perfectly good Jack Kirby action stuff has nothing to do with Jack Kirby's stories. He did yeah. not write the stories. It's just him being an art robot. So we'll we'll take a look at that. Um, and uh, what else? Oh, and that, yeah, please go, go and look at our stuff on YouTube. We have all kinds of live stream things we did. 26 hours of, of, of uh, live streams on the 103rd birthday, fourth world summer, demon, OMAC. <laughs> oh, Commandy's of... coming someday. Commandy. Oh, my God. Man. That's going to be 40 issues. <laughs> 40 <a> issues. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> It'll be great. <laughs> um, no, we do have to do some Commandy. I love Commandy. Um, and that 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 is the end of my slideshow, and we can just kind of come back to like three people. Um, but thanks, John, for joining us. Because yeah, I was a blast. Really, you know, I will talk about the dingbats every <laughs> chance I get and then, <laughs> until the entire world appreciates the genius of the of that strip. <laughs> I will never rest. It, it's great stuff. Thanks for um, getting the X numbers too, because that that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. That was that was good timing wise. Well, you I guys didn't... were a huge help compiling that list too. I mean, you know, you guys, yeah. you guys have tracked down so much art over the years. It's like yes. it's insane. People, <laughs> yeah. people think, you know, they 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 see they see the Jack Kirby collector come out and they go, "Oh, that Mara guy's doing a lot of stuff." Hey, you guys are doing just as much as me, <laughs> if not more. And it, it's like, oh, Steve Meyer wants to come in, you guys. Uh, yeah. um, but you guys, you guys are never rest. You never stop. You go to no. every convention when there were conventions, and uh, you, you know, you you have connections in the original art community, and these guys will share stuff. And it, it, it's such a great resource. And I just hope you have like, you know, six separate backups of all your digital files <laughs> spread out all over the world, so that you know, if if uh, if if uh, New Jersey gets nuked or something, there'll still be a copy somewhere over. In, yes. in there'll be one in Boston, one in New Jersey. One in there we go. There we go. <laughs> yeah, there, we we've been we've been working hard on our on our backup strategy recently. It's been really yeah. interesting. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. We're now we're probably well into six terabytes, I believe, somewhere around there. Ooh. Of both photocopies and art. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Six or seven terabytes. Yeah. So a lot but yeah uh, well yeah, you keep scanning <laughs> that, that'll fit on your phone in five years you know it yeah, right? yeah i know <laughs> <in> my <laughs> tooth. when is apple going to come out with a true mother box though they need to just go ahead and get rid of the iphone and just turn it into a mother box we can all like change our faces to make them beautiful and... <laughs> yeah that sounds good well i guess we kind of do that now with the photo filters right I could be yeah. A cat, yeah. you know? that's true yeah <laughs> <laughs> Those cat lawyers, they're the tough. cat lawyer, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> but um, I what I guess that's it. So thanks, John. Thanks, Tom. Check us Everyone's out. Thanks, thanks for being It was a lot of fun. <laughs> Kirby Museum and blah blah blah. And we'll see you soon. Thanks, everybody. Yes. <laughs>